All right. Uh, what's your name? Uh, Spencer. All right. And where are you? Where do you? Where do you live at? Where are you from? Uh, Tennessee. All right. Tennessee. And well, looks like, dude, you're in Cincinnati, man. <laughs> what are you doing in here? Yeah, uh, my church, uh, First Baptist of White Pine, Tennessee, we uh, came up here and uh, we decided, you know, uh, let's go to Cincinnati. We did have another choice. I forget what that was, but uh, mm -hmm. we decided let's go to Cincinnati. You know. And we're, we're, with being here in Cincinnati, um, where you, where, who are you hanging out with? What group? What organization? Uh, the Cincinnati Dream Center. Okay, and uh, basically... Um, I mean, obviously, this is a mission trip, right? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, tell us about uh, what, um, leading into what, what, what you experienced here. What did you think of? Um, obviously, what is it? Your youth pastor told you about this. Yes. Uh, we. What was your expectations? What did he tell you about it? Uh, yeah. So he said, "Well, we're gonna go on a mission trip. You know, we usually do one in the summer." And so he said, "We're gonna go to Cincinnati or another place. I don't know what the other place was." And he said uh, that. Uh, this was not like, you know, to come to some worship service and be like, ah, oh, you know, and uh, just, to, <laughs> just to have, you know, pray and stuff with other fellow Christians. It's about, you know, the real life reality. You know, you go and you work, you know, you serve for the Lord and uh, you pray with other people like this is real life. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's, that's what I have learned, you know, uh, before I went, I really didn't know what to expect. I know that uh, he said we would be talking to people, and that was really about it, and that we'd not be, you know, just sitting in a worship service. Mm-hmm. Gotcha, definitely. So then, um, once you guys landed here in Cincinnati, you know, got your feet on the ground, and... Stretch. Yeah, I know, stretch. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> My legs are getting all cramped up. <laughs> uh, basically... You guys uh, came in, you know, they kind of gave you the spiel on, hey, this yeah. is what we're going to do. And, you know, you were like, okay, whatever, let's go out and do it. You went out, and it's obviously there was way more to it than what what was told to you. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, like, so tell us exactly um, what you experienced. I mean, obviously God yeah. showed you some things. So oh, yeah. what exactly happened when you were out and about the last well, couple of days? when we first came here, you know, they gave us the spill, and so we started immediately packing uh, bags for food that we were going to take this other building, and uh, so we packed, we had, like, the assembly line, so when we get, when we got there, you know, we went to all these different floors, and, you know, you knock on the door, and you say, well, we're the Cincinnati Dream Center, mm -hmm. you know, you don't want anything, you don't need anything, you know, we're a non-profit organization, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, and then you say the question, is there anything that I can pray for you mm -hmm. today, and, uh, that doesn't leave, you know, where they can really say no. I mean, they could say no. Mm -hmm. but it's sort of like, well, you know, they have to think, you know, what could, you know, they pray for me. And so we had went to this one room, uh, to this woman's room, and uh, Hannah had prayed with her. And then she, you know, uh, X was a, he, he told her to pray again. And after Hannah had prayed again, she, uh, she she really opened up and she started to cry and uh, I was about to cry and uh, yeah she really cried and uh, everybody mm -hmm. cried and, uh, <laughs> and so uh, and so she really started to open up and X is like well, that's God showing you you know that you're forgiven you know that mm -hmm. God is letting you open up your feelings you know and uh, and I had gone to pray with a couple of people and uh, one man uh, he uh, said that. Well, you know, my son, he got shot with a BB gun, and he brought this picture out, and uh, he said he got a call at four, or like a couple hours later, he got shot in the eye with a BB gun, and he was brain dead after four hours, I think. Wow. And so, you know, I, and I was about to pray with him, you know, I was mm -hmm. recollecting my head, I was like, you know, what I say? And I noticed this necklace that he had, and I was like, you know, his son just di or died eight years ago yesterday, and I said, well, I was thinking of... He's his guardian angel, you know. Mm -hmm. and that it, wow. He, yeah, and he has just probably blessed him you know, and helped him. And uh, today, we are. Uh, we had just went to an apartment complex, and uh, we had uh, shared this big old prayer with uh, two women, and we had prayed for one sister and then the other sister, and that was really powerful. And uh, mm -hmm. we had talked about, you know, that life is 
full of dips, you know, it's life is like a roller coaster, you know, once you had the, the dip, you know, and then I don't know how long that would last, like two months, five months, two years, mm -hmm. you know, once you're in that dip, you know, there's the only, only greater things, you know, to come forward, you know, you can climb, you know, you can be greater. Amazing. What was, uh, what was the big punch of this, uh, um, mission trip with the Cincinnati Dream Center. What, what did God show you? He was just like, kapoo! Yeah. And like, the truth came, and you're like, wow, I'm changed forever. Like, yeah, I, it was a real eye-opener to uh, just go talk to people and like, have that understanding, that relationship with them that, you know, that it's not about us, you know, it's about Him and that He loves us. And it's not, it's not about what we've done, you know, because we are forgiven. Mm -hmm. And it's not about anything about us you know it's mm -hmm. all about him and mm -hmm. uh i'd say probably the biggest punch you know is just going to talk to people you know and exactly getting outside of a building on sundays yeah. Yeah. you know on monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and saturday too yeah. uh no matter where you're at you're running an errand on your way to work at work you know to not be afraid to talk about god and, and yeah. to to you know for us yeah. to just be the light be, have that faith and spread that faith and love amazing cool well um is there anything else that you just wanted to say here uh i think what i'm gonna take home is uh that you know you don't have to be afraid to talk to people you know once you once you step out of the comfort zone once you put your foot in the pool of grace and water and you know once you put your foot in you know you can just dive right in and mm -hmm. uh once you get out of your comfort zone you know you can you know the world is endless you know you can change the world Definitely. And um, as far as, uh, would you recommend the Cincinnati Dream Center to anyone at your church or to any of your friends? Oh, yeah. This <laughs> this has been a really fun experience. You know, mm -hmm. I made friends. You know, uh, this has been such a, even in two days, you know, I, I've made a difference and everyone with me has made a difference, you know. And it's not just we can make a difference here. You know, you can make a difference in your hometown and anywhere you are. Definitely. Awesome. Well, hey, we really appreciate you, and thank you so much for coming up from Tennessee. And I'm telling you, God's going to bless you. He's ever changed you. He's wrecked you. He's uh, shown you some amazing things, yeah. and that's his love. And he's He's shown you uh, you're going to walk into your destiny. you got big dreams, man. Thank just, you. Uh, yeah, just, we're excited for you. Okay.